You hear that? That's the awkward silence of a family dinner after you just got caught vaping. Most vapes contain high levels of nicotine and disappointment. <sighs> brought to you by The Real Cost and the FDA. This episode is brought to you by Kia's first three-row all-electric SUV. The Kia EV9. With available all-wheel drive and seating for up to seven adults. With a zero to 60 speed that thrills you one minute. And available reclining lounge seats that unwind you the next. Visit kia.com slash EV9 to learn more. Ask your Kia dealer for availability. No system, no matter how advanced, can compensate for all driver error and or driving conditions. Always drive safely. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the TMOS Boss Show. And in today's episode, so I know lately, not even lately, I have to say for a while now, <laughs> I've, been, I've been heavy on uh, the gaming industry getting better because... No, nah, man, it's like we're going into a new year, all right? These, like, I feel that from now all the way up until Grand Theft Auto 6 um, release, because I feel that when that game comes out, there's not going to be any other game that's going to top it, all right? Grand Theft Auto 6, without doubt, is going to be the biggest game of 2025, or if they're on some old random stuff where they're like, oh, let's delay it, let's do this, let's do that. Yeah, but the thing is, is this though, like, if I could talk to Rockstar, like, if I could get into Rockstar's ear, like, right now, I definitely would let them know that it doesn't matter what game comes out, because we've been getting Call of Duty games, yeah, like, what, 2013, I'm trying to think what Call of Duty came out, what was it, Call of Duty Ghost? That was, like, the last, uh, Call of Duty game, um, that came out, or that was... Or not the last Call of Duty game, but it was the Call of Duty, I think, that came out the same year as Grand Theft Auto V did. Did Call of Duty do bigger than Grand Theft Auto V? No, it did not, okay? Fast forward. Uh, yeah, Red Dead Redemption 2, don't get me wrong, it was a big game. I think Black Ops 4 was the, um, like, the next Call of Duty. There's not going to be any Call of Duty. There's not going to be any Fortnite event. There's not going to be anything. I, I could be jinxing myself, but I firmly believe not strongly i firmly i got a firm grip on this imagination that grant that follow six without doubt is going to be the biggest game of 2025 that's if they don't delay it all right but here's the thing though from right now all of next year and 2025 right before that game drops you guys people developers you guys got something to prove because I, my thing is, is this, we're just, we're in a day and age right now where gaming sucks. It sucks. It's not the same that it was back during uh, the PlayStation 1 um, era and like the um, Nintendo 64 era. It wasn't, um, it's not the same as PlayStation 2 and Xbox. It's not the same as PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Fam, I don't know what happened, but at some point in time, gaming just started being horrible it sucks i'm not even gonna lie gaming right now it sucks i wish it didn't but it did can i change it no i cannot the only thing that i can at least do is learn video game development and try to do something myself but i know that that's gonna take some time so that's why i and my thing is this it shouldn't be left up to the community and it's and the thing is this it only works for uh some. Like I know Fortnite, they got like their community mode things going on because they they did what they wanted to do. And I know people are probably was recommending it and stuff, but they got a solid game. Uh Fortnite Battle Royale and even the Fortnite game that came out before Battle Royale, both solid games. I can't get on Fortnite for what they and plus on top of that, it wasn't even like they were um charging it for an expensive uh price and things compared to some games nowadays where they wanna they wanna charge all this money for when the game releases and then when they see that the sales done went down when they see that people ain't really messing with the game no more probably then went traded the game in or got rid of it however they did then they want to have it where the game is on sale like i know 2k that one year had their game for like two dollars but that was like right before the next 2k um 2k game came out so it was like it was pointless but my thing is is like why do you guys feel that you need to do that you know, like, why Why does 2K feel that they need to do things like that? Why does, And that's why I'm like, that's why I more so want to do this episode is because, 
bruh, you, they're the most, the most high-end companies, right? The most high-end companies. You guys should not be doing this bad. And if me, the thing is this, something I've been seeing a lot lately is people uh, blaming, like, the owners. Like, the not the developers of 2K, but, like, the, the higher-ups of the developers and stuff. And my thing is, is this, if I know what's best for the game... I'm going to do what I want to do because I'm sitting down and I'm developing this game. And if I get fired, then fam, so you're going to fire me because I want the best for the fans. Let that make that make sense, please. So that's why I'm like, no, the developers, they getting thrown underneath the bus too. I'm not going to just have it where it's like, oh, the higher ups. I'm like, because my, my thing is this, how I view it. Is that the higher ups, like unless they're sitting over these guys telling them, no, we're scamming our fans. They're not going to be having them and, and being entertained. No, all they're going to do is just give us more and more money. That's it. That's all. No, I, I don't believe none of that. Because my thing is this. If you just just even on some like some scenario, right? If you see a bug in your house, what are you going to do? You're going to get rid of that bug, whether it's flushing it, squ like squishing it, flushing it down the toilet, capturing it and letting it go outside. But at some point in time, you're going to get rid of that bug that most developers nowadays, they just leave the bug. They, they will let that bug have a whole family in their household to the point where one of the bugs is graduating high school. That's how many bugs. No, 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 no. It ain't even that. It's what was that one family that was like on what was it, Discovery Health Channel or one TLC? It was one of those channels where it's like the um the people, the couple, they had like 20 something kids. That's literally these developers when it comes to bugs and glitches and all these other issues with games. And you guys just let that stuff just sit in there. So no, 2024. It needs to be like the year of the patch. Like, I'm saying, you guys need to come out. To forget coming out with another game. What you guys need to do is the games that y'all got, right? No, my thing is this. If you guys are going to come out with a game, it needs to be a game for the community. It needs to be a game where it's like you're putting, you're giving a reason for Rockstar Games to delay uh, Grand Theft Auto 6. Because if you guys are just going to come out with the same old, oh, we're coming out with another NBA 2K, uh, whatever. Oh, we're coming out with another Call of Duty. Oh, we're coming out with another. I I'm telling you right now, you guys got, well, I, I feel like all the games that came out for this year. Next year, 2025. That's it. And I know companies be liking to spread their games all throughout the uh, year and stuff. I And honestly... I, I feel like that's the year where gaming, it's either uh, 2025, that either be, needs to be the year where you guys either make it or break off whatever you got going on. Because I'm telling you, like, when Grand Theft Auto 6 comes out, bruh, it is over. There is no way possible. There's nothing, because I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm going to be blunt with you guys. There's nothing that Call of Duty can do that can make it be like, oh, we got the, we're going to have the biggest Call of Duty game coming out in the year 2025. This is going to be, without doubt, the most funnest, the most, the only way I had to say that if Call of Duty, if they remotely think that they're going to be doing good in the year 2025, the only way I would see that being somewhat achievable is if they make the Call of Duty game free. If they're like, no, we're not charging you guys. And that and same with NBA 2K. I'm trying to think of some other games out there. Just any, any other games out there. It's like you're you guys are gonna have to that I feel like that's the only thing that y'all possibly could do is having it where it's like the games are free. But it's like if the games aren't free, then fam, I, I'm saying like, how do you guys think you're gonna overpower a game where it's like it, it don't matter whether that game... And no, that, honestly, that will probably be the most craziest thing ever. And I highly doubt that Rockstar would do some stuff like that. But imagine if they said, you're not going to have to pay for Grand Theft Auto 6. We realize that we, um, you know, like, let, let, let's just paint out a scenario real quick. Let's say Rockstar Games is like, we spent way too much time on Grand Theft Auto 5. We didn't give you guys nothing with Red Dead Redemption 2. We literally just dropped that game and then that was it. Then we came out with like some uh, patch update or not patch update, but we came out with like this next gen version of Grand Theft Auto 5 
and that didn't live up to um its standards like it, it wasn't like a new and improved like it, it might as well have still been the same game whether the oh and then the um the remastered trilogy like we messed up these past 10 years and we're well by the time when that comes no because it'll, it'll uh no 10 12 12 years when it'll uh 2025 and stuff i had to do that math in my head and it wasn't like you know i my my brain it's getting a little slow with the loading and things but anyways but no let's just say there are like these past 12 years we uh we realized that we didn't really give you guys a whole lot when it comes to gaming and you guys had to uh go and create these De, um these servers for uh role playing and all that stuff for grand theft auto 5 and we realized we made a mistake so you know what we're gonna do grand theft auto 6 is free that would probably be the most craziest thing in video game history no they will honestly break a record that if, they, if there is anything that grant that that rockstar games would do if they were to do some stuff like that they will break a record. There's no way possible. Even if it's no, there's there's no way possible that um that they would do some stuff like that because that would just be crazy. Um, but no, like I if they were to do something like that, if they were to come out and say some stuff like that, that would without doubt be the most um like just breaking news, like breaking no game breaking. Yeah, there we go, game breaking news ever. Nothing would be able to top it. There would be no Call of Duty that would be able to top it. There would be no NBA 2K that would be able to top. And the only way I see them guys trying to compete is if they say turn around, they say the same thing too. We're making our game free this year. That would be the only way. But still, ain't no, even if it is like you guys make it where your guys' game is free, the thing is, is this. Your guys' game still got issues that y'all just refuse to fix. You got some games that crash. You got some games that won't even start up. You got where the one guy, he posted on uh, TikTok where his NBA 2K character just randomly lost all his clothing. So he, he just had the brown pants, no shirt, nothing. And I'm thinking to myself, how is that fun? How is it fun when you lose your stuff like that? You got it where Destiny, they, Destiny 2 more so, they can't even come out with a good DLC to the point where they got to delay the DLC that they had planned to come out, I think, what was it, towards the end of this year or something? Uh, um, And they have it where it's now coming out next year, I think in May? And I'm saying, and, it, and it's so funny how people were just like, they on, tw on Twitter not too long ago, they were doing their hardest to defend that game. And look at that game now. Game done got delayed. I remember Destiny uh, 1 having no delays. But that's because it was a Xbox 360 game. Xbox 360 games, Xbox, PlayStation 3, 2, 1. I'm trying to think of uh, just any games from that era and before will always be better than what's going on right now. I don't care what anybody... And the only reason why games you... like, let, Let's just go on Twitch real quick and uh um just see what like their latest games are because it's either an indie game or a game that's free then my only two games that's doing good okay so for an example um call of duty uh so yeah that's like the number one um the game like in the number like category it's like number one in the category but the only reason why that game is there is because of the game right next to it Warzone, all right? Yeah, you might have some people playing Search and Destroy and all that other, but people are most likely playing Warzone, and they just, you know, misuse the, uh, not misuse, but they just, yeah, put Modern Warfare 3 down for the title, but most likely they are going through uh, um, Modern Warfare 3 to play Warzone. So, next game, another free game, Fortnite. I ain't got no ill feelings towards Fortnite. They actually give back to the fans. I ain't got nothing but respect for them. Apex Legends. You know, they give back to the fans, too. I had to, I just, I don't know. I'm not really a fan of Apex. There's no disrespect to them. I'm just not a fan of it. But anyways, and then, yes, an indie game, Lethal Company. Uh, yeah, that's the only reason why a game is good. Because I feel like it's people that's going based off of it. That it ain't, you, you don't have, like, okay, so if that is the case, you don't have no higher up above that person's head. You know, you actually have somebody that knows what they're doing. So that's why I'm like, yeah, with Lethal Company, the person or people behind that game, they know what they're doing. They ain't, yeah, and I'm like, I just, and I don't understand why it's like these higher ups, these, you know, bigger developers, why you guys can't just take a play out of their book and literally do the same thing as these indie developers. I'm saying they got less equipment, they got less resources, they got less people, yet they can come out Lethal Company let, let's just see where this game is at right now. Uh, Lethal Company. 
uh, ratings is a 10 out of 10, and it's only a $10 game. Over 100,000 people then reviewed this game, and both uh, the recent reviews and all reviews are overwhelmingly positive. My thing is, is this, how does a game, how many, I wonder do they say how many people worked on this game? I don't think um, they overall say it anywhere, but um, yeah, I, I imagine that there's like, so uh, there's like, at this stage, I'm confident you will have a good time with Lethal Company, but there are still many ideas and features I have in mind. I also need your feedback to help. See, a person that's willing to listen, Lethal Company is quote unquote finished, but still Far from realizing its potential. And that's the crazy thing about it. The guy, he's all like, he knows whoever it is. So it, sound, it sounds like it's just one person working on this game. Yet, he, whoever it is, he probably just made the biggest game of the year. Of the year. There's no other game. I honestly, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I played a lot of games this year. There's no other game. But I, I had to say it was big until the game came out and then it sucked. But the day before. Um, but yeah, other than that, Lethal Company will probably be the biggest game that came out this year. I don't think there hasn't been. Like there have been other games that I heard of this year. But Lethal Company, in my opinion, it just it stands out more and stuff. So, But uh, what was the next games on the list? um avatar i mean it's it's all right i i ain't gonna say it's the best game of the year but it's all right league of legends free game the finals free game valorant free game minecraft is just a it, it's it'll always be a legendary game so but yeah it's like you either got legendary games that's been out for years free games or indie games my thing is is this but what about like yeah the call of duties what about like you know you got pay money and it's like you're not doing nothing to give people a reason. Warzone, that's it. That's that's the only reason why. And I feel that the main reason why people play Warzone is because of streamers and content creators. But other than, yeah, you might have some people that just, you know, sit down. They just casually play the game and stuff. But it's rare. It, it's on, like, rare, rare, rare occasions where I see stuff like that. I think the only people that I know that just sit and casually play Call of Duty is my friends that I grew up with. That's it. But it'll probably be in a matter of time before they're all like, hey, t Moss Boss, real quick. They, they ain't gonna call me t Moss Boss. But they're like, hey, real quick, how do you uh, do this um, the content creating stuff? And now I got, and yeah, and then it's just, you know, they right there with everybody else. But I'm like, I think that's the only reason why games like that are successful is because of content creators you guys need to make it no this is what this is what you guys need to do for these next um two years you guys need to work on your guys's game work on your game make sure it is in the best possible stage that it can be because if not after grant that follows and my thing is this after grant that follows six Close up shop. Don't do because I honestly feel like that. If I, I'm just scared that Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to be the biggest game of all time. They're gonna have everything. They ain't gonna just have some things. I feel like they're gonna have everything. If not, they're gonna probably have it where you can add whatever you want to add in the game. So it's like if you want to play basketball, cool. If you want to have a first person shooter game, um, like Call of Duty, cool. We'll add that. Uh, what are some other things? You want to build a building? Yeah, sure. Go ahead and do some Fortnite stuff in this game. I My thing is, is this. And that's probably another reason why they sat and they waited so long to come out with this game. Is because they were just sitting down and plotting. If I'm, But no, if my thing is this. If Grand Theft Auto 6 comes out and it bombs this on some like day before stuff. Then yeah, Rockstar, no. I'm all like, at that point, everybody in the gaming industry just needs to stop. Besides indie developers, because they know what they're doing. And I, but yeah, if that game comes out and it bombs, then yeah, I'm like, Rockstar Games, close up shop, don't do nothing else. Just leave it to these role playing servers in these games, because I'm that, that would just not make no sense. You guys come out with probably the biggest gaming trailer, if not the biggest trailer of this whole year. And you guys just straight bombed this game? Nah, just at that point, just stop. Because I'm like, that That just don't even make no sense to me. So, but yes, 20 from this point, 2020, the final few days of 2023, all of 2024 and 2025 up until the date of Grand Theft Auto 6. Any developers out there that is hearing this episode, if y'all have not done nothing, okay, give up at that point. Just honestly, 
give up, all right? So, anyways, and that being said, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening. Stay tuned for the next episode. Make sure you like and subscribe if you're viewing this on YouTube. Follow or subscribe if you're viewing this on podcast streaming service. Make sure you follow me across all social media platforms at Boss. Thank you guys for watching and or listening, and peace.